The beginning of my dilemma orally began uh, as a result of being in the military. Uh, the military gave me a partial plate, top and bottom, and they made indentations in my teeth in order to hold the plate in. Those indentations eventually cavitized, which means the plate was loose and it, it just fell out. And me with my laziness and macho-ness, and I don't really need it, so I, I just never got it replaced. So all of my mastication process was basically done on my front teeth. I had 11 or 12 teeth in the front. So after a while, you know, I started getting grandchildren, and grandchildren were asking questions. Papa, why you don't have any teeth in the back, and that kind of thing. So after 34 years of educating other people to do the right thing, I decided to educate myself and said, okay, I need to take care of me. So I had a choice of buying a motorcycle for retirement or getting my teeth fixed. So here I am. I decided to get my teeth fixed. When we walked in, my wife and I, you know, we were greeted, you know, very gracefully. And it wasn't as if I was treated like an object. It was like I came in here and the staff was at our beck and call for everything that we needed. The explanations were very professional, um, the telling us how to do the prescriptions, the prep and all, having my wife write everything down in her own handwriting so that she wouldn't have to read it from another source. I remember needle number one in my left arm, and I remember Dr. Ajmo coming in and he did needle number two. From that point, I don't remember anything else. I don't remember anything after needle number two. And we got up uh, the next morning, uh, very little bleeding. You know, I still had a few gauzes in and uh, took the gauzes out, did a rinse, came in here and sat in the chair and immediately went back to work. Then the implants were put in and I was coached as to how to find my bite and how to readjust my tongue back into my mouth. And again, the staff was very great, very cordial in assisting me and going through the entire process, you know, and I'm just very gracious to be surrounded by such a professional staff because when you're talking about any kind of investment, I went to a football game this weekend and I came back here on Wednesday morning. I had surgery Wednesday morning to have 11 or 12 extractions. On Thursday morning, actually Thursday afternoon, I came back in and I have a temporary upper and lower plate. I was told that I did fairly well because I didn't have any swelling or anything. So I went home and laid in bed and had some fun and I got up this morning, just a slight pain. I had an Advil and today is Friday. So I've only actually had the temporaries in just one day. Like I said, I taught school for 34 years and I, I taught thousands of kids in not only the subject of algebra, but the subject of life. And to this day, I still mentor a youth group. And how can I be a mentor to young men to try to encourage them to take care of themselves if I'm not doing it myself? So when you make those kinds of life choices, then you have to evaluate everything step by step and see what's best for you in order for you to help other people.